In this section, we're going to show you the various ways in which project parking can be used to transfer Avid projects. We're going to select a project here called Kite Festival and press the transfer button. Here we can choose which bins to include when transferring a project and the various transfer options. I'm going to just start copying to an external drive. Then we can select where to copy it to. We might have to add a target workspace or drive. In this case, it'll be the G drive, which I'm going to use for remote editing. So we just press start. I'm also going to transfer a second project, the Aquarium project, and show that I can queue transfers in the Activity tab. While these activities are going on, I'm just going to explain the various transfer options. Copy to external drive copies project folders and media files to an external drive that can be moved to a new workstation and edited in place. Copy to a local drive copies media files to a local drive and the project files to the shared Avid projects location for editing on a standalone workstation. Copy to a workspace, copies media files to one workspace and not copy the project files for sharing the project with other workstations on the same shared storage. Move to workspace, moves media files to one workspace and not copy the project files for sharing the project with other workstations on the same shared storage. You have to be a bit careful when using this and ensure that the media is not referenced by other projects. And finally, reintegrating offline projects merges a project that has been edited offline into an existing project. So for instance, if we were to reintegrate this project, we'd be able to choose which projects are integrated to and which of the bins to copy back. Any media which is already in existence on the workspace won't be copied, but any new media will. Now the transfer is completed, let's have a look at where our copied project and media is. Using Windows Explorer to view the project, you can see there are two projects, Aquarium and Kite Festival. The combined media is shown in the Avid Media File folder. One point to keep in mind, the key difference between transferring and archiving is transferring keeps the project alive or active whereas an archive is not intended to actually be used and is a snapshot of a project. Please refer to the archive sections for more information. During this section we showed transferring projects with project parking, explain the different transfer operations, albeit copying, moving to other workspaces and devices, the difference between transferring and archiving. 